With school about to start back up, your child might be walking to school or home from school to, from the bus stop by themselves. And the Alliance Against Family Violence and Sexual Assault is offering some free self-defense classes for kids and adults. And that is where Camby is live this morning. Camby, how's it going out there? Hey. Hey, good morning, John. Yeah, that's right. So we're talking about the dangers of when kids are walking home from school or the bus stop by themselves. And we're going to get some tips here this morning on things that you can do. They also have a class. We'll talk about that at the end about the classes that you can take here. Uh, so Dave, really quick, let's go over some of the quick tips that you want to give parents uh, for what they should tell their child when they're walking home from school. Okay. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah, you hold that. And actually, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, Dave here pretend to be a uh, a potential kidnapper right so you're gonna go hide and kind of explain what we're doing exactly okay all right okay. here we go so the most important thing really is awareness when you're walking around if you're caught off guard that's gonna be a real problem to defend yourself if someone sneaks up on you and hits you in the head there's nothing you can do uh, but if you're aware of a situation then you hopefully you can either avoid it or deal with it uh, in, in a better way okay so Gloriella and I you Right, I'm going to be the bad guy. I'm hiding in my van or something. Uh, we're going to have Gloriella walk by. She's on her phone, playing with her keys. She's got her purse. She's distracted. As she walks by... You okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since she wasn't aware of that, it's very easy for me to just grab her and take her in the van. It took three seconds. Okay, okay. it's very scary. The, okay, now, you, now what am I supposed to do? Okay, so now as you walk by, Head up, you're not playing with your phone or your keys, you're looking around, checking out the neighbor's yards and everything. Okay, you see me, because you're looking around. Now you avoid this area, you give yourself some room. Don't turn your back to me. Oh. <laughs> so you're, you're being aware, you're always keeping your eye on me. Uh, you want to acknowledge me, so you know that I know that I know that you know that I'm here. Did you see I pointed? I said, hey, like I see you. What, you know, when, parent, when the kids are walking home by themselves, that's probably not the best idea. What else should they be, what else should parents be communicating to their kids? Right, rather than walking alone by themselves, they should try to be with a group. Uh, besides that, if they're, there's no other choice, they have to walk home by themselves, they should definitely have a phone call. You know, the parents should call at whatever designated time, or the kids should call the parents when they get home. That but way not they're... texting or calling while they're walking, because that's the distraction that can be dangerous. Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's just like driving. You know, if you're distracted, things happen. Okay. So when somebody is, when they do see a person, and they, let's say they're on the same sidewalk, mm -hmm. let's say this was the sidewalk, then would you recommend that the kid crosses the sidewalk? Would that have been the better thing for me to do is kind of cross ahead? Yeah, absolutely. Either cross, you know, or swerve around at very least, but even cross the street is a good idea. Okay. Uh, of course, with caution, there's cars and whatnot. Yeah. All right, let's get some uh, information on the screen for you in case you're interested in taking these self-defense classes. They do a women's self-defense class here, a kids' self-defense class here, an adult self-defense class here, and it is free. Hello, it's my middle name, free. So if you want to come check out these classes, call that number on the screen, find out when they're doing it. I believe it's the third Wednesday of the month. Is that right, that you yeah, guys do the right. kids' class? Mm -hmm, from so, 6 to 9. So you have a kids' class that's planned today. Is that already filled, or could people still possibly sign up for that? Unfortunately, it is filled. We have 45 people registered already. Uh, it's becoming very popular because it's an important event. Okay, and coming up, we're going to show you some more um, of the moves. Maybe a kick punch. It could be possibly that yeah, you would need to use Yeah, I think the kick that. punch, probably not, not a good technique, but we're, we're anxious to learn. Camby, thank you very much. We talked about all those distractions. You know, kids have like those PSPs or whatever they're called and like the little video games or their phones and they're not paying attention. So we talked about that earlier about staying alert. That's the most important thing. And that is what can really save uh, your child. But if your child is still distracted or something happens that they do get attacked okay so dave's going to demonstrate what happened so this is the what do we call this uh this is a basic wrist escape okay so the concept is very simple you know i'm gonna do the other side so you can see at home uh there's four fingers here and so that's my strength and i'm pulling so i'm expecting you to pull back okay like but, this right right so that makes it easy because my power is going to win against a kid of course uh, but if you go towards my thumb and actually push slightly forward you're going against my resistance in other words that's I'm not expecting that. So you can use that to take Okay, that. so what you want to do is kind of lean in and then go over. Right. And then that way I can run away. Because the trick is not to try and beat the other person up. It's just to try and get away. Exactly. Okay, now Gloriella, Layla, uh, is, she's a little bit taller than you by one inch. Okay. And she can actually 
defend herself against Dave. Awesome. So they're going to show us uh, how they do this. By the way, I should mention that they are also boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh. So, Gloriella, oh. take him down, girl. So they do the wrist escape, and then Ooh. she punches, oh. and they don't, re oh. they don't oh. rehearse this at all. Okay, and let's talk about that that kick that she just did down there too, because what she, when she kicked right here, right, that's not you don't want to kick there. You want to kick in the right. stomach. Why? Why do you want to kick right there, Glorieta? Because it hits the ribs and it hurts more. You cannot breathe when you hit your ribs. Okay, because the chest is really protected, right? Okay, you can come on up. We we won't we won't beat you up anymore, at least for this segment. Okay, so let's put a phone number on the screen. That is the number to call if you are interested in these free self defense classes. Uh, we're talking about for kids, for women, for adults. Anybody who wants to take these classes can. They even do them in other outlying areas outside of Kern County. And look at they're smiling, and they still like each other. <laughs> can be a little bit of relationship advice there. When she tells him to take out the trash, just take it out. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Quickly. let him know. She's got moves. <laughs> Help. But that is not what you want to do, right? Now, stop grabbing me because I don't want Gloriella to beat me up. That is Dave's girlfriend. Uh, but, you know, help isn't always the best thing to yell. What do you teach the kids to yell when, when they're being attacked? Uh, a couple of things that are the best things to say is, number one, I don't know you. Uh, that'll get people's attention more. Often kids rebel against their parents and yell, help, help, because my mom's going to spank me. Yeah. But when you say, I don't know you, people will understand it's not their parent and then hopefully get involved. Uh, that and maybe you're not my mommy, you're not my daddy, okay. something like that. Okay, and also we're going to talk about um, how you can use different items to actually try and help protect yourself if something were to happen. And of course, you know, you never want to think that this is going to happen to you or to your child, but it is a possibility and better to be prepared. So um, you're going to demonstrate this with Glorietta. So explain to us kind of what's going on. Okay. Well, we're going to pretend this chair is a park bench or something at school, maybe a desk, whatever. And parents know that um, if you're trying to get your kid out of the car and they're holding on to stuff, it's impossible. So we use the same concept for kids in self-defense. If I'm going to abduct her, I want to try and pull her out of the chair. But if she's latched on, then it's really hard. <laughs> you know, not only that now, if I took the whole chair, and then probably people are gonna look at that kind of funny, and uh, hopefully that'll get their attention, and hopefully someone will react and come to help. And a lot of times people, even if they hear somebody yelling help, they don't necessarily instinctively think, let me call the police, because they always think somebody else is gonna do right. it. Right, so that, that's important, anybody who's watching this, and, and spread the word. If you hear someone yelling, help, fire, you're not my mommy, any of those things, get involved, do something, call the police. Don't assume someone else did, and don't assume, oh, it's probably okay. You, you should always react. Okay, yeah, so better to, for the police to get 500 phone calls than none. Hey, we gave you that phone number earlier on the screen. That is the number to call if you want these free self-defense classes. We're talking self-defense classes for kids, women, and adults. Everyone is welcome. They also come out to the outlying areas like Lamont and Delano. They do classes there as well. So give that number a call, and you can get some more information. Uh, in our last segment, we're going to talk about the kick punch. Can Dave avoid it? Yes. We don't know. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering when does the kick punch come in? Um, hey, Kimmy, a quick yeah. question, and, and this is something that I, I think is interesting and, and timely. A lot of parents with the whole going back to school, a lot of um, young women going off to college, uh, do they see a lot of mother-daughter teams that also might take this at, at this time? Hmm, do you see a lot of mother-daughter teams come in to take this class, like especially with kids come, going off to college? Yeah, absolutely. That's probably our number one hit, I think. Um, you know, parents obviously, when their daughter goes away to college, they're going to be by themselves. You know? So the mom gets involved to encourage the daughter, and then they do it because the daughter's going to be leaving the home. So, of course, that's uh, one of our most popular people that attend. Okay, there you go, Layla. A good tip, a good tip to know before you head out to college. Camby Brown, I uh, can't wait to see the kick punch. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, and, and there's a preview. Thank you, ma'am. Earlier, Layla mentioned college students. So because of that, we, we started thinking about, you know, if people are at the club or at a bar and somebody is approaching them and they are not, you know, wanting to go with them and they're being really aggressive. So Dave's going to demonstrate that with um, Gloriela. So kind of explain to us what the situation is. Gloriela's at the club and you are kind of going to come up and grab her, right? Right. Basically, I'm a bad guy. I'm drunk. I'm acting stupid. Not just grabbing her, but I'm being physically aggressive and I'm not letting go. So she needs to do something to get out of there. Okay, let's have you demonstrate what happens. Okay. Hey, baby, what's up? Let's go dance. Come on, let's go. Hey, what's up?
Okay, so she uses the headbutt and then is able to do like the knee to the groin and run away. Um, and you know what, when, when you do these classes, you actually get a lot of mother and daughters. What are some of the situations that they really want you to help them with in the self-defense class? Uh, pretty much exactly situations like that or if they're walking out of their classroom back to their car, uh, if they're alone, if someone grabs them, stuff like that. If they're on the ground especially is important. Uh, so just mainly escape moves, you know, if they're being grabbed or attacked, and then how to get out of that and get home safely. Okay, and if that were to happen at the club, the most important thing is after she does that, she needs to go home. Yeah. And why is that? Uh, no matter how good a time she's having, that guy's still going to be there, and not only that, he's going to be upset. So he might continue to attack. He might wait for her outside. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a bad situation. Now, they do these classes for adults, kids, and women. You can take these classes for free. Call the number on your screen. They'll tell you when those classes are um, happening. Also, um, you know, I've been telling you all morning long, let's see how Dave does with the kick punch. Yes, Dave, do you think you can handle it. this? I'll do my best. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm oh, probably gonna take Dave. him. I'm probably gonna take him down, Layla. Oh, you yeah. watch. Dave watch should this. be scared. He's smiling. He should be scared. Oh! oh, whoa. oh. oh. Yeah. Kick whoa. Punch. Try that kick punch again. Uh -huh. that, I'm dead. Uh -huh. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't think that's gonna make another. Appearance. I believe the kids say you got served there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, you know what? Just the kick away. punch. That is the kick punch is not self-defense. Yeah. It is just for fun. Cammy, this is the point where you need to go home. Remember, yeah. he was saying yes. go home. Now you go yep. home. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs>